Well, hello, my fellow Capricorns. Welcome back to another daily reading for your Golden Ratio Capricorn Tarot. Uh, glad to have you back. Really happy, actually. Um, always nice to have my friends here, uh, my fellow Cappies. Crosswalkers are also welcome. Um, and again, for like for everybody that's here, like feel free to comment below. Keep the uh, commentary light. Uh, respect for one another. People are going through things. People are entitled to varied opinions, you know, about what's going on with the channel, the reading. Um, you know, start up a conversation, guys. Like, uh, enjoy sort of, you know, sharing your thoughts and your personal experiences, whether or not this was uh, valuable or meaningful to you. Maybe it will be for you, maybe not. Uh, as with anything else, YouTube and tarot related, uh, these are general readings, not uh, individual readings. So, you know, take what resonates for you and leave behind what does not. This reading may not be for you. There are tons of other readings available to you in the, uh, in, you know, the, the various playlists. You know, if you, you might be interested specifically in money or career or love, uh, spirituality. Uh, there's plenty in there. Go have a look at the thumbnails and, you know, check it with something that sort of appeals to you. You know what calls to you but uh you know as far as this reading goes you know what calls to you um it might not be all of it it might be a portion of uh, the the reading that kind of calls out to you you know take it or leave it you know it's, it's okay i mean you know what will speak to you but you know uh, when the hair stands up on the back of your head neck uh you get a warm sensation somewhere um oh, here's your sneak peek i don't get to look because i don't want to influence your reading uh, although I'm a fellow Capricorn, I like to kind of read this blind. Um, you know, I don't want to influence it with, you know, my personal desires. This is about you, not about me, per se. Uh, I don't want to spoil smoke up your butt, so this is sort of an honest reading. The story sort of unfolds as it, you know, comes down, swirls out into uh, sort of a, a pattern there. You know, the golden ratio is the concept behind the channel. I mean, this just turns out to be more sort of like an astral spin, spiral, and, uh, yeah, anyway, so, like, again, I'm not here to blow smoke up your bottom, I'm here to give you honest advice, look who's popping out already, right? Put you back in there. Um, yeah, so, like, again, everybody's welcome, enjoy, uh, hope you like it, uh, yeah, let's have some fun, get this reading going. And uh, wishing you all you know, the best of luck as we all move through life, as we all learn to adapt, change, uh, roll with the punches, heal, and help others to heal. Be compassionate towards others. Seven of Cups, you got some choices ahead of you. Um, now, I always like to say that the Seven of Cups, you know, although it's, it's about lack of clarity, you know, having choices is nice, but when you choose from your heart, you know, apparently the King of Wands is telling you, you know, choose what you're passionate about. Um, this is what you need to move forward on. So, passion, it could still be money-related, but uh, chances are it's love-related. Maybe you have a couple of options on the go for you know, your love relations or business-type relationships because, you know, King of Wands is uh, also a very entrepreneurial spirit. So let's see what we got for you guys today. Well, we start off with the of Swords. Um, not a terrible place to start because, I mean, if you can start the day with working on uh, kind of releasing yourself from these limiting beliefs, you know, like, uh, again, the other, uh, the other deck, like, you know, this one, um, it talks about, or sorry, the, the image that's depicted is a woman sitting in front of a mirror, a young woman. And, you know, in the reality aspect, um, she, she's sitting there and, you know, she's just kind of you know, gazing at the mirror. And in the mirror image, uh, she's surrounded by crows that have strings attached to her and she's bound at the wrists and blindfolded. So this is sort of a self-imposed bondage just in the mind. So it's not reality. So one of the things to consider here is that, you know, do you have limiting beliefs? You know, like, do you not feel good enough? Uh, do you uh, not believe that it's possible to have the career or person of your dreams just because of some aspect of your life or something that's happened? <clears throat> and the reality is, is that, 
you can have all of the things that you desire, you just have to believe it. And that's part of, you know, the manifestation process is releasing some of these uh, inner bondages and limiting beliefs. <clears throat> so the King of Swords, you know, wisdom, emotions here in the background that are there, but not sort of, you know, impacting him, but there, there's a wisdom. Uh, he's been through the fights. He knows logically what's been going on. He's <clears throat> in control of his mind, works with his intelligence, his intellect, his insight moving forward. And don't forget in tarot, I mean, there, there's uh, masculine and feminine energies, not necessarily male or female. I mean, we've seen it all in life where, you know, you have <clears throat> a man or a woman who behaves, you know, more masculine or feminine, right? And it's not the LGBTQ2 kind of thing, but, you know, it, it's more of a the, the energy that we portray in different scenarios, right? <clears throat> Moving on, uh, we have a very fast movement. So already two eights on the board. And again, that one's about sort of like uh, you're, you're in a dysmorphia or, you know, views of self. But, you know, this eight of wands is about, you know, speed, movement forward, moving on from different things. So hopefully you've uh, gone through and logically decided that, you know, that... that limiting belief is no longer applicable and you're able to release it with love and compassion. Eight of Wands coupled with two of Wands. Eight and two is ten. Ten of Wands would be, you know, letting go of a situation, but you have fast movement and the stalling, you know, about planning for the future. So it's it's kind of about balancing here, right? I mean, you want to go ahead fast, but you've got to plan for the future. This is sort of like a pre-emperor kind of energy. The Chariot. Well, fast movement. Somebody really wants to go fast here. <laughs> but again, like even in the chariot here, it's about balancing, you know, the, the light and the dark, you know, the positive and the negative, the light and the shadow. Um, I mean, you have to be you know, the master. You have to know where you're going. So, you know, the decisions that you've made back here in the direction that you're traveling after having healed this sort of like, you know, uh, self bondage, hopefully helps you to get off in the right direction. And guess who's here? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, again, truth, loyalty. Um, she has uh, the cup down here. It's you know, it's it's available to her when she needs to show p compassion. But you know, again, both the king and the queen they they lead with truth. Truth is uh, their their honor and you know the core of their 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 energy. So um, being truthful with yourself about limiting beliefs so that you can move on and making the decision to move on. <coughs> Uh, nine of Swords, Nightmares. So we've escalated from Eight of Swords to Nine of Swords. <clears throat> and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's about nightmares. Um, what more can you say about that? Uh, you know, the, these are the things that are on your mind that need to be dealt with. A lot of them aren't real, and that's kind of the point of, you know, the Swords energy. So the Page of Wands, which could be a messenger, a fiery, passionate messenger, young, youthful, typically, uh, comes in to perhaps show you, or maybe your nightmare is about this youthful sort of energy. Maybe you have a teenage child or something like that, and you're worried about them. But, I mean, they will make their mistakes. They will learn. They will move on. You need not worry about that too much. Do your best you can and uh, give them the freedom to... Uh, be themselves uh, <clears throat> you know if this nightmare is your own you know perhaps you know they will be able to give you a little bit of perspective on what it is that uh, might release you from it king of swords again <laughs> hello old friend so again truth and honesty being truthful with yourself about what these nightmares are are they real are they not real facing fear uh, what do they say punching fear in the face and giving it the the f-bomb um, it's, that's kind of where we're going. I mean, again, you know, there, there's love and compassion and, uh, you know, this is sort of a, a spiritual upgrade here. I mean, the Hierophant, it can be about corporations in a business sense, but I read, you know, in this scenario that with your intellect over your, your eight of swords and nine of swords, you're going to be able to release that sort of, uh, negativity and move on with your life, you know, be more free, uh, be more connected, and uh, just interesting side by side. Uh, moving on to the Nine of Pentacles. So getting over your Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords, 
coming through your truths and this energy allows you to reap your rewards. Um, this is a very independent type of energy, uh, strong, luxurious, gorgeous. It's not quite Ten of Pentacles where you get to share it with all your loved ones and that sort of thing, but you know that your future is solid and safe and you can move forward kind of with almost this sort of a page of wands freedom. And it's coupled with your intuition. So this might be telling you that it is present or it is coming, but like a nines, you know, usually indicate that it's here. Uh, it's, it's happening right now. So use your intuition, balance what you see in your spiritual realm. You know, this uh, high priestess is about you know, downloading the information and bringing it forward into reality. So you've got your spirit, your download, and taking that out to the world and uh, reaping your rewards. That sounds pretty exciting. Judgment. Uh, judgment is a celebration of the soul. Um, it also talks about kind of releasing judgment. So like by judging yourself and judging others, you're not allowing, you know, that, that true soul calling to come through you. Um, you need to sort of like release those you know, judgment calls and uh, fears that you might have around other people that where you feel you need to judge them and just sort of let them be and let them grow in the way that they need to grow. And, you know, this applies to you. I mean, all the beliefs that other people have had around you that you sort of absorbed, and this might relate back to your Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords, you know, you want to do something strong, new, something that you um, have a lot of knowledge and intelligence between like your, your two kings of swords and your queen of swords up here. And you just needed to understand that, you know, to make it to your true soul calling, you need to release those judgments and not worry about the judgments of others. The three of swords, healing your heart. So again, I feel like this is about healing your heart and from the, the judgments, again, from others or from yourself uh, and allowing yourself that, that freedom to come back to, you know, who you truly are. Four of Wands, celebration card. That's kind of gorgeous. Um, it's just a, a fun loving card saying, we have a, a, a little mini celebration. Some people think it's like a, an engagement type card, but I mean, this is you bringing it together and giving yourself, you know, the pat on the back that you've always deserved for, you know, being strong enough to, to face your Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords and, you know, let go of that sort of energy. And your Emperor energy comes in with this. Now the Emperor, um, he's, he's the King of Kings. Um, so he's fully aware of, you know, the power of, you know, the King of the Swords, the King of Wands over here, sort of overseeing this energy flow, the King of Cups, the uh, King of Wands, he says the King of Kings. So he's under control of all of these areas of life. Um, I like, you know, the sheep's head up here. I see it as, you know, the devil. So he's slayed his devils, his demons, you know, your Eight of Swords and your Nine of Swords that you were worried about up here. You've come through with your intellect. You've had your download. You've released the heartache. And you have a lot to celebrate. Now, the Emperor is also about your planning energy and moving forward. And being here beside your Eight of Wands and Two of Wands energy, it looks like you needed to release this sort of inner anguish, this heartbreak, uh, which whether that was giving forgiveness to other people and or uh, to yourself. Um, you know, moving through that sort of energy uh, has helped you a lot. Four of Cups. So Four of Cups is largely about uh, being grateful for what you have, not for what you've lost, because, you know, the three cups have been emptied, spilled out onto the floor, but the fourth one is still <coughs> full and being filled by, you know, the, 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 uh, the universe, spirit, God, you know, whatever word you prefer. But, um, you know, so it's, it's about being grateful for this last cup that you have and that you have enough to fill yours, to fill others. And, you know, it'll continue to be refilled. You don't really need the other three cups. You just need that faith. Speaking of cups, King of Cups, right here above the Emperor. Um, that's kind of fun. So what I love about the, the King of Cups is 
you know, he's mastered his emotions. His, you know, fingertips are dipped into his little bowl there where his emotions exist. And, you know, he feels them, but he doesn't let them rule. So this is about allowing yourself to feel, you know, maybe there was loss in the past, right? I mean, that happens, you know, we lose people, uh, you know, animals, friends, jobs, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> But there's always gifts coming to you from the universe. So allowing yourself to feel the loss, you know, for a short period of time and then move on to, you know, a greater energy that, you know, has been sort of building up here. The High Priestess. Do you remember? She was down here with the Nine of uh, Pentacles. So again, <laughs> the uh, divine download, uh, the, the translator between the spiritual realm and reality um you know beautiful energy and with the moon so you are getting your download uh something is coming to the surface from you know the darkness of the night and you're beginning to become aware of it so hopefully you've moved through your eight and nine of swords and your heartbreak over here you've had your healing and now you're more consciously aware either you know spiritually and or um, uh, or other issues that have been going on where, you know, like, uh, you know, with your intelligence and uh, love and compassion, uh, that everything will work out. Sort of like a, a faith scenario is what I'm seeing there. Oh, well, look what happens after your download. Your Ten of Cups. So that's absolutely everything. You know, all, you know, cylinders firing. Uh, things coming together. Uh, your wish fulfilled. Uh, it really doesn't get much better than the Ten of Cups, you know, I, aside from the Star card or something along those lines. And a Tower. Well, that is absolutely interesting. So, a Tower with the Ten of Cups. I'm not sure what direction to go in that one. I mean, to me, that looks like, you know, this download kind of creates the tower moment with this new information that's coming in here to lead you to your Ten of Cups. But that may very well be something else. We'll have to look at the next card to see how that turns out. But, uh, you yeah, know, of course, I'm hoping for you that, you know, the, the tower leads you to your Ten Yeah, yeah, that's it right there. World Cup. Uh, <laughs> World Cup. <laughs> Go FIFA. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> The world, it's, it's about completion of a phase and leveling up. Uh, really, that's just short, you know, gorgeous curve, but... And resting up, right? I mean, you've been through a bunch. You've had a download. You have tower. You had healing over here with your three of swords. Rest up. These are your three swords here. You've, you know, battled, succeeded, lived through it. You might have been, you know, scarred and hurt, maimed, but uh, you're recovering. You will get through this, and uh, you're definitely leveling up. Congrats. And the last. The Fool. A new beginning. Uh, you know what? The, the Fool often, in my mind, comes after the Tower, or is sort of complementary to the Tower, as well as the Death card. Because, like, you know, after endings, you have beginnings. Um, that's, that's kind of interesting, so... Uh, I'd like to believe that this is, you know, a good tower where something comes in like, you know, a big lottery win. If somebody actually, you know, has a good lottery win, jackpot, you don't have to say how much, but put in the comment uh, below that, you know, you, you won some money or something great happened to you to get you that tower moment with uh, Ten of Cups. <clears throat> um, you know, congratulations to whoever that is. And that's coupled with your King of Wands. So strong, powerful, intelligent, uh, fierce really, really fierce. So fiercely going after this new beginning and knowing with your confidence that you've got a lot behind you. And if you're following your heart, you have clarity. You know, uh, you, you're getting this download. You know, you're getting the download with the illumination, the tower. This looks like you, you're getting the clarity. You know what you're going to do. It's, it's, yeah, I think we're, we're back to an entrepreneurial sort of a moment or, you know, I mean, maybe you won some big money and gotten some inheritance or something like that. And now, you know, you're kind of, you're going to be reinvesting that or creating a new business venture that, uh, you know, with, with all the intelligence here, 
between the two kings of swords and the queens of swords and you know the compassion here with the uh, the king of wands the emperor with all his planning the success indicated by him your ten of cups up there um, again the movement coming around this way I mean it looks absolutely gorgeous and you're going to be successful in whatever this new venture is um, yeah it, it's going to be an amazing day well congratulations I hope that uh, we, we hear from some uh, big lottery winners. Um, I'm sorry for anybody that, you know, loses uh, anybody that they love and, you know, bonuses that you might get some inheritance. But, uh, you know, congratulations to all of those that this is applicable to. This is really impressive. Congrats, guys. Love and light.